Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another What's Cooking Wednesday, Big John TV. Yep, and we're going with a, should I say fair edition? Fair theme. Yeah. Now, Monday we released a video of us at our local county fair, animals, rides, and food. Yes, and one of the mm. things we always have to get is a fair fried corn dog. Corn dogs. A lot of comments. A lot of you guys from the UK either don't know or never had or never seen corn dogs. And even if you're in the States, maybe you don't know how to make your own. Right. So we're going to help you with that. Right. And then we're going to make a dessert, you know, because we have the oil going. Right. And what's another fair dessert staple? Now see, we showed you cotton candy and because we bought the cotton candy, we didn't buy the other dessert. Right. Okay. What is it? Do you know what the other dessert is at the fair? What are we going to make? What other, what dessert do you get at the fair other than cotton candy? <laughs> You're too short. <laughs> Popcorn. No. <laughs> You're too heavy. Funnel cakes. Yes. Funnel cakes are, <laughs> are a fair staple. They're just fried dough drizzled in the oil, covered in sugar and fruit sometimes. Yep. Deliciousness. So we're going to make that. We're going to show you how to make these at home. Should be easy, should be good. And a lot cheaper than the fair, that's for sure. That's true. All right, see you at the end. All right, let's get cooking. All right, let's get started with our corn dog batter. We got a bowl. Into our bowl, we're going to add one cup of flour. This is all-purpose flour. I tend to buy unbleached just because I don't see the point in bleaching. Not cake flour, but all-purpose. Next, we've got two-thirds of a cup yellow cornmeal. This is what it looks like. It's not corn flour, it's corn meal. It's a little bit thicker of a grind. Let me know if you guys can get this in the UK. Next, we've got a quarter cup of white sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and we'll give this a quick mix together just to make sure everything is evenly distributed. All right, we're gonna make a bit of a well in the center. And to that, we're gonna add one and a quarter cups of buttermilk, one egg, lightly beaten, two tablespoons of melted bacon drippings, and one teaspoon of baking powder. And we will combine this until there's no dry left. We want this to be nice and smooth. We don't want to see any lumps in here. All right, I think that looks really good. All right, we're actually going to pour our batter into a tall, narrow cup to better dip our corn doggies. Ooh, I didn't make too much of a mess. I'm impressed. All right, these are super standard American hot dogs. They're a mix of corn, corn, probably. They're a mix of pork and beef and chicken. We're gonna pat them dry. You could get fancy and use really nice hot dogs in these or sausages. That would be really good. But we're going for the old traditional. You want them nice and dry so that your batter really sticks to them. All right, and I found bamboo skewers at Walmart. These are actually in the cake baking aisle. So they're probably dowels for supporting cakes. I've cut them in half, and I think that's going to give us the perfect length. Straight in the center. Leave a nice bit of a handle. I think that is perfect. Got the oven preheating to hold our corn dogs once they're done. Now, American hot dogs typically are skinless. So you'll notice how easy of a time I have sticking this in. It's because they have no skin. And just for the heck of it, I'm trying a couple popsicle sticks because I know this might be a little bit more readily available. They're a little bit floppier because they're not as long. 
All right, let's move over to the stove. All right, we've got our oil to about 350 degrees. Gonna dip a corn dog in our mix. And get it into the oil. Woo! That one had a blowout. All right, so those are not the two prettiest corn dogs. Had a little bit of a blowout, but the color is lovely. Periodically give them a quick turn so they can brown on the other side. If they'll let you stay. We're really only cooking the breading on the outside. The hot dogs are fully cooked. So once they have a good color, we can pull them out. Drain as much oil off as you can, and then we're going to lay them on a plate with napkins to soak up any excess oil. All right, let's keep dipping. Bye, now I'm making a mess. All right, these have a great color. Let's pull them out. Of course, I think my last two are going to be my most beautiful. Yeah, look at this one. That's like the perfect corn dog. Beautiful. All right, check it out. We will keep these warm in the oven while we make our dessert. Moving on to our funnel cakes. In our bowl, we have two cups of flour. To that, we're gonna add quarter teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Give this a quick mix. And set it aside. All right, we've got one and a half cups of milk. To that, we're gonna add two lightly beaten eggs. And a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. And just a splash of vanilla, probably half a teaspoon. And we're going to mix this until well combined. And we're going to add our liquid into our dry. And stir until it's all combined. We want this to be a nice, smooth mixture again. All right, that looks really good. So typically, this would get its name funnel cake because you would pour it through a funnel. I don't own a funnel. That's like the one kitchen tool I don't have. So I'm actually gonna pour it into a Ziploc bag. I'll snip the corner and get the same effect. All right, our oil is back up to temp. And we're gonna drizzle this in. There we go. And to kind of keep it in a swirly circular pattern, kind of build up on itself. Just pinch it off when we're done. 
Once one side looks good, we're going to flip it over very, very carefully. Oh yeah, the outsides get nice and crispy. The inside will stay nice and chewy. This is going to be good. Look at that beauty. While it's still warm, we're going to sprinkle some sugar on the top. Woo, that looks yummy. Woo, I look a mess. It was hot in front of that oil. I didn't even cook, but it, this kitchen's it's hot. It's hot in here. Holy hot cow. Hot. So our corn dogs are done. Yep. And the last two, of course, were the most beautiful. Yep. All right, Jim, you want to take a bite? They should right. be in okay temperature. Let me, let me test it and see how hot they are. A little ketchup, a little mustard. Ooh. <laughs> These are actually better than the ones we had to fair. The batter on the outside is so light and fluffy, little bite. but really crispy. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it can be too dense on the outside, but this is excellent. Did you get a bite of Dad's? Want to finish it? It's a little bit warmer in the middle. <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> You're off camera when you duck Nobody like can that. see you. Okay. All right, how about this? And funnel the cake. funnel cake. Now the cool thing about funnel cakes, any kind of toppings you want. We wanted to go simple because we were we're done. Um, fruit, ice cream, whipped cream, chocolate syrup, caramel sauce. Yep. Anything you can imagine. All right, you want a bite? Dig in. Yep. Tear a piece off of that, Jamma. They look like snakes. See, I got a nice big one right here. Mm -hmm. I like them. Mm -hmm. Fried dough, how can you go wrong? Now, the dough itself isn't super sweet, so it's like, it's not that bad. So keep the topping simple, then it's really not, you know. Right. Not crazy. <laughs> yeah, it kind of depends what you put on it, how good or bad it is for right. you. Oh, yeah. We got some of these for not spilling. Yes. Knott's Berry Farm, that's right, we did a Step back this way so I can there. see you. All right, that's oh. the video. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know mm -hmm. if you've ever had corn dogs or funnel cake. Yep. Which you prefer. What kind of toppings do you like on your funnel cake? Yep, and we know this isn't the healthiest of food. Oh, absolutely it's not. It's fair food, it's for fun, not all the time. It's a once in a while food, that's Abs for sure. Hey, absolutely. go with the hot dog, it has, it has meat. There you go. Protein in the hot dog, absolutely. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Make sure you like. Subscribe and share with your boy. That's right. All right. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.